Right now, events are unfolding as we speak because Graham Jones will be in charge of the team on that day. But the process on a wider basis of recruiting a new head coach is underway and the, the new owners tell us an appointment will be announced in due course. Uh, 08717 Newcastle fans, this is your chance. Come and join us live on air on TalkSport and tell us what you think of the job that Steve Bruce has done, what you think of the decision that he's left by mutual consent and who you think should be next in uh, charge of this great and it is a great football club Trevor you've played umpteen times up at St James's Park this is a diamond uh, of a football club but what now what now amazing football club and I think you just got a little glimpse into what kind of club it can be two minutes in against Spurs ball goes wide into the box Callum Wilson I mean the roof come off the place the excitement from Everywhere you could see in that stadium, apart from a tiny little segment of Spurs fans. That's what I look at Newcastle and think, yeah, that was the team that I played against. They were unbelievable. Showboaters on the ball, performances were superb, charismatic personalities. But my big thing about Steve Bruce and, and the way that this has played out is, I think unfairly, all the criticism has landed at his feet. Because... For me, I got relegated with West Ham with a very talented team. 42 points, uh, should have done better. You know, there was a lot of very talented players in that team. I would stay at the football club and get the club uh, promoted back to the Premier League. But we got criticised. It weren't all about the manager. It was shared amongst the players, the staff, the owners. Mike Ashley's got away with murder for me. The players are getting away with me. Defend better. And that's why I see players arguing and having a kickoff because... Lachelle's obviously is not defending well in that game. They've conceded three at home. Mm. Callum Wilson's having a go at him. It's kicking off public, which it shouldn't be. Yeah. But the players do care. But I think they've got away scot-free. Everything's landed at Steve Bruce, Bruce's feet. And I think that's very unfair. So you think he he's he's a fall guy. He's had to take the lot. The recruitment's not been good enough from the football club under Mike Ashley. Yeah. Full stop. The players need to take more responsibility. They need to go onto that pitch, sweat blood, Tears, everything, give everything for that badge to make sure that they give the best performance and they get the right results. That's not been happening. Well, Simon and I will be up in the North East on Friday morning. Simon, you and I will go in there and Indeed. we will come live yep. from Newcastle. But what about Newcastle fans this morning? What are they thinking? In the knowledge that Bruce is gone, Graham Jones takes over the team on an interim basis and the process, the owners tell us, of uh, recruiting a new head coach is now underway. An appointment will be announced in due course. 08717 Dave, one of many, many Newcastle fans coming on to us this morning. Dave, good morning to you. First off, Bruce is gone. What's your take on that, Dave? Yeah, morning, Jim, Simon. Morning. Uh, morning. Good morning. Probably, um, it's, it's, I mean, it's been long overdue, I think, Steve Bruce leaving the club. Um, one thing I think is, like, and I, I sort of brings up the Trev's point just there before, I think accountability lies well beyond Steve Bruce or solely on Steve Bruce. Um, I think the players, in my eyes, of getting away with murder for sort of a long period of time now performances are just not up to scratch we've got big players we're obviously sort of heavy hearts Matt Ritchie's um, yeah sort of Isaac Hayden's and all that um, generally normally give sort of 110% every game they're yeah. getting stuck in that hasn't been evident to me over the last few performances and uh, again I think that sort of goes beyond sort of uh, Steve Bruce's responsibility yeah he's got um, the responsibility of motivating these players but they need to take accountability as well and they need to sort of look ourselves in the mirror as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Because that's not going to change between now and that performance on it, it, sort of Saturday. Here's, here's Trevor, part. Dave. Here's D- Trevor. Dave, Dave why, why have they kept Graeme Jones in? And I know because he's there and he can do a job, but is Graeme Jones going to turn anything around? Because if he does, surely the finger will be pointed at him to say, well, he was holding a bit back when he was with Steve Bruce, working under Steve Bruce. Well, again, I think it's evident that there's maybe there. Uh, Sort of little clicks going on within the club. Um, I think Graham Jones is probably still um, favourable because potentially the, the sort of some of the players um, do obviously um, highly like him. I think the fans obviously have got a little bit of um, sort of he holds credibility with the fans. However, I think he's got to take accountability as well. Uh, whilst we've obviously changed our style of playing, we have been obviously 
um, like counter attacking games, and that's been evident. Um, it's no good. In, like if we kind of defend and we're going to concede, we've become almost like a Leeds team uh, overnight. Um, you know, and that's since, in my opinion, since Graham Jones has came in. So again, I think it's going to it's going to take a massive um, sort of change of plan or change of tack from Graham Jones in order to prove him. Uh, okay. he's, he's, he's not he's not going to be the manager, is he, Dave? And and ultimately, all they're doing is Steve Clements goes everywhere that Steve Bruce goes. So he's staying there just because the management structure is going to stay in place for a period of time. They're all going to be compensated and moved along, and the new guy's going to come in with a new broom. You're not expecting. Graham Jones to be in City for very long, are you? To be honest, Simon, no. I, I think he'll he'll go as well. He'll carry the can. Someone else will come in. They'll bring the whole uh, the whole team, the whole squad. The only the only reason Graham Jones will stay there is if someone like Roberto Martinez comes to the club. Yeah, very true. Kind of see. Very true. Very um, true. Good point. But I think he, he, he'll also carry the can eventually. Um, Trevor, we'll, Dave, we'll move on, but thank you for your time and thanks for the call. I'm going to get a quick word from Peter, who's another Newcastle fan, just before we head to the break. So many of you want your say, we'll try and enable as many as you can, as we can, uh, to, to come to air. Peter, good morning. Morning, lads. How are you doing? Morning, good, Peter. thanks. Peter, your take on this then. So Bruce is gone. What next? Well, I'm, I just want to take an uh, issue with Simon. Just, um, I know he's not a good... Steve Bruce fan, but he likes the man and, and doesn't. He thinks he should still. Well, he should have been um, sacked a week ago, and I agree I with do. that. Yeah. Um, or let go. Yeah. I, I think he should have been sacked after the Sheffield United game. We lost against Brentford and then Sheffield United, and I was I, I was one behind him at first, give him a chance. I wasn't one of these that oh, I used to play manage Sunderland, so I don't want him at the club because that that, that can happen. That's just that's just life, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. He, he, he's, his football, he's not a good manager. He hasn't been a good, good manager for us and his actual record for other clubs hasn't been great. So, yes, I was going to give him a chance because he's a Geordie, but I, he lost me after the Sheffield United game. His tactics were play attacking. When we do play attacking football, we can look really good, but you he can, played yeah. a defensive lineup against both sides. One team that was in the championship, one team that was at the bottom of the premiership and were played defensively. And for me, that's un- he should have been sacked straight away after that. Any any owner worth his salt, which is the problem. And you could also Might argue losing play. in the Carabao Cup in the manner that you did to Brentford yeah. would have been a very disappointing situation which Steve had told you that he wanted a cut run. The only reason I tried to, buy, buy, to provide context and balance is when someone like you makes statements that Steve Bruce isn't, hasn't been successful elsewhere, well, he's taken up unfashionable clubs. He's taken Hull out of the Championship, put them back in the Premier League. He's taken Birmingham out of the Championship, put them in Premier League. He put South Sunderland 7th in the Premier League. Those are undeniable facts, and th- those are jobs that are difficult to do. Do I think he's an elite manager? No, I've never said that. But I do think if you finish 12th and 13th with Newcastle, what else did you expect under Mike Ashley's tenure? When you finished 5th under the league with Alan Pardew, Newcastle fans did Pardew in the following season. I don't understand what you're supposed to do up there when you've got an owner like Mike Ashley. A brief word from Trevor to the break. Well, I just feel, again, we're kind of letting the players get away with it because where is the accountability for the players? And, you know, I've been, Peter, I've been in a situation where we've gone out, we're playing against a team and the gaffer's given us a, a, a structure to play it and we've gone out and thought, this is not going to work. Proper players have a chat amongst themselves, amongst the experienced players. They'll change things on the pitch. Again, if it is the manager and his tactics, why are the players not taking ownership and saying, listen, we're changing it, this is what we're doing? I don't see that with them players. So mm. the players have got to take as much of the flack for me as the manager. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.